I may see down. Thermostat's on, but you know, it's not kicked on. Check the breakers, everything was okay there. So I haven't pulled the disconnect yet, just to, I'm gonna go look at the disconnect here. So what I have is my little voltage detector here. So we got power there. Let's see, oh, it's actually this one. Power comes in on the sides, but then goes down to the unit here. Looks like we have power. So go ahead and pull the disconnect. Fuse is sitting a little funny there on the right side. Might be the fuses. And we come back to our unit. Take a look here. Pull off the cover. Let's see if the contactor is sucked in. Smells funny. Ooh, look at there. Right there, it looks like we have a wire lead burnt up. Right there. There's our problem. So we've got our disconnect pulled. What we want to do next is discharge the capacitor. So, get that going. There's the discharge. That's discharged. And then our wire here. Definitely, it looks bad there. It looks like it just completely crunched off there. And the contactor is sucked in there. wire up there and probably check the other side it looks like the wire is okay back here I definitely don't want to trim it off too short down it might not tighten down there there's another way to do this would be to add a lead on that end That feels bad there. Part contactor. So I'm gonna need to put a lead on that edge.
Alright, you can smell this one. Right when I got to it, and there's a couple ways to do this, I can either add a compressor lead, which is what I'm gonna, gonna try to add here, or replace the contactor. Either way, it's efficient. Anyway, just gonna pull our wire back out here. And this will give me a little more room on the insulation part before it's damaged, so I pulled it all the way back here. Gonna go ahead and reinsert this screw. Even though that's pretty much gone. The contactor, this is a 24 volt relay. It's an electromagnet. It gets your voltage, your low voltage on the sides here, one on each side. This side here, and this side here. Sucks the contactor in and bridges the, the leads the other side. Your high voltage comes in on the bottom, the contactor sucks in and makes a bridge to the top to where it delivers it up to the contactor and the fan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, right now it's attached to the wire or it was attached to the, to the wire there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it to the bottom. The way I'm gonna do that is I've got this crimp on butt connector here. Slide the insulation back. And we're gonna put that over our, our wire and then just crimp it down. And I'll we'll crimp that down real good. So it's nice and solid on our wire. Now we'll slip our insulation all the way over and then we'll melt this down with a lighter. It doesn't matter if it discolors it a little bit, it's just going to do its job of holding everything nice and solid here. a little shrink wrap tubing to make things a little tighter. And now we're going to attach this wire to the bottom of that contactor. We're also going to position that wire so it's not going to cause any trouble with putting our cover on. It's kind of tough to find a place to let you see here. I'm going to go with the back post right there in theory I see better from this way just got to push that up and on to the, to the post there we go okay and we're on now we're ready to fire it up test it out you can see our contactor sucked in we're ready to roll. So I'll go ahead and plug it in over there, fire it up, and see how it goes. Beautiful. So we fired right up. And right here we're just gonna put our cover back on. Carefully. Now let's make sure the line gets nice and chilly. Oh yeah. It's getting nice and cool. And we're all set there. Good to go. Nice and cold. One more AC back in business.
Thank you.